No, I haven't been cycling, but I did find this. 50 centimetres in diameter, about 1.8 metres in circumference. I want to form a magnetic loop by removing the spokes, placing a cut, putting a variable capacitor across the top, and finding a method of feeding it at the bottom. You can either do that with a magnetic loop by having a separate smaller loop, about a fifth the diameter of the larger loop, or by tapping the loop part way along it in a gamma match type arrangement. First thing we'll do is we'll get a hacksaw and split the loop. The capacitor will go across the top and exactly 180 degrees from it will be our antenna connector. Now to test the loop, I'll use the mobile phone app to provide a whisper signal for the FT817 to transmit. Now on 10 MHz and with the plates almost fully meshed, there's an encouraging peak. Oh, I haven't put it on a proper SWR meter yet, but the inbuilt unit on the FT817 has no bars, which is encouraging. This isn't the most efficient magnetic loop that I've built. There's three main things that make it less efficient than it would ideally be. First of all, it's too small for the lower and middle HF frequencies. Secondly, the material it's made of is not as conductive as copper. And thirdly, I'm only using thin conductors between the variable capacitor and the rest of the loop. Nevertheless, it's got a wide frequency range. That could make it a useful project if you're just after a simple loop for receiving or even for whisper transmitting. Every time you see a discarded bicycle, think magnetic loop. And remember this video every time you have the opportunity for one to come into your hands.